Then Revelations 14.10. Revelations 14.10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of the indignation, and he shall torment with fire and brimstone the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And then uh, Revelation 20. Revelations 20, um, verse, Revelations 20, Revelations 20, 10, the devil that deceived was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the, be the beast false prophets were and shall be, be tormented day and night forever and ever so he says this clearly the future punishment of the wicked is a significant theme in scripture Jesus teaches and so does every New Testament author while this brief survey has demonstrated an array of truths about hell three key depictions of hell recur in the New Testament punishment. The chief picture of hell is a place of punishment for sin. The punishment deserves consists of suffering and is eternal. Destruction. The destruction is likened to death, a second death, loss and ruin. Peterson article C Robert Peterson article in this issue of Table Talk for more on this. Banishment. Whereas punishment stresses the active side of hell, banishment shows the horror of hell. By highlighting what unbelievers miss, the very reason for their existence, namely to glorify and love God. So, we look at all the scripture that we looked at there. We looked at death in Romans. We've looked at eternal torment uh, in much of Jesus' teaching. And then, in other epistles, Paul's epistle, Thessalonians, Jude and Peter... In Hebrews, uh, there's clear punishment and it's eternal suffering. So on the whole, when you take the biblical data, look at all the biblical data, it is number one, punishment, the chief picture of hell is a place of punishment for sin. The punishment is deserved, consists of suffering and is eternal. Number two, destruction. This destruction is likened to death, a second death, loss and ruin. See Robert Peterson's article in this issue of Tab Tabernacle for more on this. Uh, sorry, in, in the issue of Table Talk for more on this. And third, it's banishment. Whereas punishment stresses the active side of hell, banishment shows the horror of hell by highlighting what unbelievers miss, the very reason for their existence, namely to glorify and love God. So what we learn from that, if you don't look at the whole of the scripture, if you just hear on home in on one book or, or one scripture, you'll get a warped view. But if you look at it, the whole of scripture, like we've just done there, you get a much, much more rounded view of what hell is, you know. If you just focus on a few verses in Romans where it says, uh, where your sin is death, you would you would conclude hell is just annihilation but if you look at the whole of scripture the whole of the verses and weigh them in balance of what they're teaching it's clear that hell is eternal torment um, so we're going to break off on this one and then now we're going to go into the next video we're going to go into uh, looking at some of the objections to what the annihilationists will say and we'll look at what they say and we'll answer uh, their questions all right 
All right, thank you for listening. God bless you.